guys thank you so much for watching my shed hunting videos come along with me on this video as i find my favorite shed of the year so far i hope you guys enjoy this video all right guys we have our first shed of the day it's in the wide open sunshine so let's hope it's not chalky but it's laying in a really cool way it looks like a decent bowl one two three four five six nice six point oh i can't wait to show you guys how it's laying Come with me. Oh my gosh, I think it's last year's brown. Like, it looks pretty solid, fingers crossed. It's not chalky. Oh my gosh, it is last year's brown. Hell yeah. That's a good antler. Gosh, I wonder where his other side is. How cool is it laying like that? Up against the tree? in the wide open say it with me you guys nobody's been here <laughs> hell yeah it's been a really tough day and i'm getting really sunburnt and this makes it worth it this is a great great antler it was brown last year it's in really good shape for being right in the sun look at that that's a great bull yes What's up guys? I want to share my mistake with you because maybe it'll save somebody else out there. I was so excited to go to this spot, my first time at this spot this year, this morning, that I woke up with the sun. It's a really big long hike, so I got out of there right at sunrise and, and I was so excited to leave the house. I knew it was going to be hot today, one of the first nice hot days, so I wore a tank top, but I forgot to put sunscreen on or put sunscreen in my backpack. And now I'm way out here and I'm getting scorched. So this is the time of year to put sunscreen in your pack, protect your skin. I'm going to be doing that after this hike. But for now, for now, I just found a really awesome, really great antler. So I'm hiking around with just the monster, ditched the pack. I'm going to try to match it up. And if I don't match it up today, I will match it up another day. Why? All right, tried to match him up, but it's getting late. Marked it on Scout to Hunt. We'll be back another time to take another line and match him up. We're in some pretty far country. What a beautiful bull. Wow. Look at him. I am so burnt. Bad, bad, bad news. <laughs> He's awesome. Well, it is four o'clock and I have had quite a bit of sun. Oh, it's probably hard for you guys to tell. I'm sitting in the shade now, but I'm going to start hiking out of here. I had a plan to make this really nice long journey out of here and probably find more sheds, but I'm going to make a safer call right now, which is walk up to the top of the ridge and walk all the way out of here on the nice flat faster stuff so I'm not out here until midnight. It is really really big country. I've told you guys tons of times where it's the type of stuff where you have the time to make a line or two through the zone and that's exactly what happened and now it's a get out of get out of dodge mission but uh, I have it marked on scout to hunt like I said so I will definitely be back and might be a good potential backpacking spot out here because I think if I were to stay out here, I could accomplish a lot more in the zone doing a couple days of zigzagging and spending a lot of time way far out here because it is very far and dangerous to get back to the truck in the dark. <laughs> but either way, I'm just so excited that I found a nice shed. It's in great shape. I'm so excited it's not chalk for being in the wide open in this really hot desert. It's really lucky, so. So stoked. You guys know I say it all the time, but I spend time in antler country where big bulls wander and they wander in onesie, twosies and very far apart from each other. I don't go to areas where you're just picking up, you know, 10 or 20 browns and there's 40 bulls hanging out. Like I go to, I try to go to places that are real big country that not many people go to um, because that's just my cup of tea. That's what I like. And today was just that. What an amazing day. Great day. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
that was so brutal. Whew. What's up guys, how cool is that shed? I knew when I found it that it was a good bowl, but like after looking at it harder and looking at some of the pictures, I mean, it has epic giant bowl fronts, it has good thirds, good royal, fifth's a little weak, good long main beam, like main beam up there with some of my biggest sets, like 360, 370 bowls. So it's a great antler and I'm just so happy that it's hard white. I've actually been back in there a couple times to try to match it up with no luck yet, but I have found other sheds on the way. So stay tuned for those YouTube videos. I am gonna get back up there and hopefully match that shed up because that is a set that I would really like to have. It's big country. It's gonna be tough, but it's not impossible. Thank you guys so much for watching. I just wanna remind you real quick that you can enter the Scout to Hunt, the Hunt Before Shed Hunting Photo Contest. It's free and super easy to enter. There's over $10,000 in prizes, awesome gear that you can use for hunting and shed hunting. And part of the grand prize is a free fly fishing trip with me and my business, Chunky Chat Outfitters. So more info on that in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for another Shed Spree video tomorrow. Okay, bye.